look at this picture. Dad, how would you like to be part of this picture? Or mom and the kids, how would you like to put dad in that picture? I'm at the Niangua River area, specifically, I'm at Bennett Springs State Park. I've got Jim Rogers with me. Jim, good to see you good again. Good to see you, Tom. That's got to make you want to get down there and oh, fish. Oh, I want to go right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Now, okay, we're at Bennett Springs State Park. This is what I think so many people know the, the, the park for. But really, give us an idea of what Bennett Springs is all about, because there is something for everybody. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, we have fishing. And you don't have to use a fly rod to fish here. That's only about 25% of our people. Really? Yeah. And uh, we have camping, five campgrounds, public swimming pool, 65 cabins, a motel, restaurant, and we have canoeing. Now, you're also, I mean, Bennett Spring is right across from Sand Spring. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that, if you will. Sand Spring Resort, in fact, they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Uh -huh. They're located just, just across the Niagara River from the park. It's not like a hop, skip, and a jump yeah. over there. And they have a nice restaurant. They have a motel with an indoor pool. And uh, they also have canoe rental there. And like I said, this is their 50th anniversary. Now, this is an area where, I mean, tons of canoe get out on the river. Yes, yes. And probably one of the largest canoe outfitters, if not the largest in the state, is NRO, mm -hmm. and that's the Burns family. Right. They've been doing this forever, great people. I think I've heard like possibly longest continual outfitter in the area. Uh, well, definitely in the area. Yeah, uh, possibly Tom. in the state. Possibly in the state. Uh -huh. They've got, they can accommodate two to 2,000 people. Huge campground, they've got cabins, they've got a nice store there. Mm -hmm. uh, they not only have uh, rafts and canoes, but they got the only zip line in the area. All right, so that's the NRO. Now what about uh, Wild Oaks? I know that's right near here too. Yeah, that's a nice restaurant and campground, maybe three or four miles from the park on Highway 64. And they have a nice Saturday night uh, live entertainment, and I think they call it uh, Blues, Brews, and Food. Okay. And uh, it's uh, $17 for a four-course meal for one person. Yeah. And, and that's it, every Saturday night? Every Saturday night. All right. Now, uh, McCreed's, fine, fine art. I mean, it, it's really kind of odd because when I came down here, I'm seeing this beautiful art yeah. right in the middle of the Niangua River area. Yeah. Uh, she does a great job there, and uh, the art she has is from a few dollars to hundreds of dollars. Mm -hmm. And they've got sculptures, and they've got paintings, and they've got gifts. And it's right on uh, 64, just about a mile or so out of the park toward Lebanon. Yeah, again, something for everybody there. You can bring Dad by. There's going to be something he'll like, yes, sir. I know. Yes, sir. All right, now this one. I know that you te you've taught fly fishing forever and a day. Yeah. You, I know you are familiar with readings. Oh yeah, Charlie's a great guy, Charlie Reading. Uh -huh. He's got a very nice uh, tackle store just up the road. Again, maybe about a mile out of the park is all. Uh -huh. And Charlie's fished all over the world and he's taken people on a lot of guided trips to uh, many, many countries. And he's very knowledgeable, a good instructor, has great fishing tackle and a lot of high-end tackle as well as reasonably priced stuff. Right. And he can help you with anything you want to do there. Now, Jim, of course, there was a place I had a lot of fun at just going out there, and that's Fort Niangua. Yes. Again, right up the road just a few miles, and that's a very unique place. Not only do they have great camping, canoeing, and they're right on the river there, mm -hmm. but they have uh, cabins and they're known now pretty well for their mud races. All right, and then I guess one more, LSK Lebanon. LSK Lebanon, Lebanon, Suzuki, Kawasaki. That's I tell you, it. they are great guys, they're fun. Uh, they have power sports there. Of course, they sell uh, Suzuki and Kawasaki motorcycles, but they've also got water sports with jet skis and boats and pontoon boats. And again, they're just up the road on 64 Highway 2. So it really, this is a place Bring dad, he's gonna love it no matter which direction he turns around here. But yeah, mom and the kids should come out too. Oh yeah, and they're shopping in Lebanon also. And uh, you know, mom and the kids can take the car and they can, uh, if they don't wanna to walk to the swimming pool or hiking trails, they can drive into Lebanon or visit these other businesses up and down the road. We like to think of ourselves as a big family. We want the people when they come to visit the area to realize they're part of our family and all of our businesses together try to work as a big family. All right, Jim, it is always good to see you. Thank good to you. see you, Tom. All right.
you come on out to the Niangua River area, there is something for everybody down here. It's a great idea for Dad's Day, but just about any day to kind of unplug from the noise in your life and plug into nature. <laughs>